I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. I've got a really cool pepper to show you. They're all cool. You know, I'm a pepper nerd, but man, I just get excited about peppers. And this one, there's so much reason to be excited about this. Wait till you see it. And when you f hear the full history behind it, you'll get why this one is a real thrill for me to eat. This, everybody, is a Carolina Reaper that's been crossed with a Butch T. Scorpion. Now, most people have heard about the Carolina Reaper. A lot of you have heard of, some of you may have heard of the Butch T. A lot of you have, but maybe some of you haven't. So let me give you a little bit of idea. Now, uh, to give you um, an idea of this pepper, you kind of got to go back a little bit. So let me do that. Uh, I'll start by telling you about Neil Smith. Now, there wouldn't be a Chase the This channel would not exist if it weren't for Neil Smith, and that's the truth. Um, Neil Smith owns the Hippie Seed Company in Australia. He's, um, he has a YouTube channel, and I was watch he was the first videos about peppers I watched, and I watched all of them. The guy is just so cool, it isn't funny. Um, so let me, now that you know who Neil Smith is, let me tell you a little bit about this pepper. Okay, first of all, the Trinidad, uh, the Butch T. Scorpion, all right? It's a capsicum chinense cultivar, okay? It's among the hottest, one, this is back a while back, but it, at the time, it was clearly one of the hottest peppers in the world. Now, um, this pip, uh, the, just so you know, the, uh, the Trinidad uh, Butch T. Scorpion, that's uh, indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago, um, it was named, this was named and, and created by Neil Smith, or the Butch T. was. Uh, by Neil Smith from the Hippie Seed Company after he got the seeds originally from Butch Taylor. Now, Butch Taylor uh, is the owner of Zydeco Farms in Woodville, uh, Mississippi. Um, it was also a hot sauce company. Um, it was amazing. You know, the scorpion, the, you know why they got the name scorpion? They originally came up with the name scorpion because of that tail, kind of like a scorpion. So that's where that comes from. Um, so, uh, this is a cross between a Carolina Reaper and that famous Butch T. Scorpion. Um, I'm going to cut this thing open and take a look. I had a, you know, last time I was in Australia, I had a wonderful opportunity to go visit Neil Smith and meet him in person. I was nervous. It was really funny. I was nervous driving up. I was with Darren Hackett and we were driving uh, to his place and I'm like, give me a few minutes, kind of let me know before we get there so I can get ready for it. He pulls into his driveway, he goes, we're here. But Neil Smith and his wife Charlotte, they're just amazing people. Um, when I was in his, uh, at his place in Australia, we went to his, uh, he goes, let me show you the garden. Now when Neil Smith says, let me show you my garden, <laughs> Oh man, that was, I can't begin to tell you how amazing that was. Oh, there were people that would have done anything to trade places with me that day. And then when we, he had 500 plus um, varieties growing in this garden and they were beautiful garden, really set up properly and it was just rose. And he, we started off on the mild and he was just such a good guy. He's like, have you ever heard of this one, Johnny? I said, I've heard of it. He goes, you ever eaten one? I said, no, he grabbed it ahead to me. And I must have eaten a dozen peppers just, and I started with a mild and went our way hotter. He's just such a good dude. Um, wow. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Got to take a picture. Now, um, we dispelled uh, or the, the myth that seeds have heat. We did that this month or last month. Did a review with my son where I got seeds from what I believe to be the hottest pepper in the world, the Primatale. Uh, and we, they were cleaned off, so all the capsaicin from the pepper was uh, washed off the pepper, or the seeds, excuse me. Um, and Tom Room did that, and he sent it to me. We ate them, but there's no heat in the seeds. There just isn't. Boy, there's a lot of rumors about peppers, and that's one of the great ones. The, the heat is primarily located in something called the placenta. When you see the placenta on this one, you're gonna be stunned, because it's all, wait till you see it. Look at this. Now the placenta is the spongy part right here, all right? And that's where the heat lives. Um, this, tell me this doesn't look like a, hang on just a sec. Looks like two little burning bushes. Um, has a great aroma, smells super hot. Relatively thin-walled, okay, there's um, 
not a ton of seeds in this. Uh, but it's got, it's, I'm super thrilled to be eating this. All right, guys, so this, um, and thank you, uh, Jason and Laura from Abercrombie Hot Peppers. Just great people, grow some amazing peppers, and they're just really cool people. Anyway, um, I give you the Carolina Reaper crossed with a Butch T. Scorpion. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Okay, so with those two, a lot of times when you get two peppers and you put them together and they both have individual distinct flavors, when they come together, you're not going to be able to taste those individual distinct flavors. They kind of blend, they become one. And that's what's going on here. So I can't really determine, you know, I can hear, I can feel, taste the uh, Carolina Reaper influence. I can't. But what I can taste is just a super hot, uh, very warm, um, it's fruity. It had, it was a little more floral than I was expecting. A little bit of bitterness in there. Floral used to be my Achilles heel. Floral, the, the floral taste, and if you're new and you've never heard that expression, it's kind of uh, flowery, ar you know, aromatic. I used to say it was like perfume, but it's not really the best analogy. Um, but it's, it's floral. The finish, now here's one thing, I haven't talked about this in a while. Um, lots of different flavors you're gonna, that come with peppers. And the super hot ones, two very uh, common flavors that you're going to encounter are bitterness and floral, all right? Now, I don't mind bitter, and I used to have real trouble with floral. You put those two together, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, but if my experience, I've talked to a lot of other pepperheads, and this, I think, is something that everybody kind of, if you eat them a lot, you'll notice this. If you eat a pepper and it's got some negative flavors that you don't appreciate, let's say you don't like floral, shortly after you finish that pod, those, those initial flavors kind of dissipate relatively quickly, leaving you just the taste of the actual the pepper flavor. So in that, with this as an example, the floral and the bitterness kind of faded away relatively quickly. So all you left is that really strong pepper flavor, which is fruity. And just has that, it's got a bite to it. Now, if this were around 10 years, you know, when this came out, this was absolutely among the hottest peppers on the planet. The heat on this, it started off on my tongue and kind of, I shouldn't say, it wasn't really a migratory burn where it kind of moves around on you. I just noticed it more on my tongue and it's kind of moving, it's in my throat now. Um, Carolina Reapers. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, seven pot primos tend to burn you in the throat. Don't know why. It's just kind of, you know, I think that's spectacular. It give, to me, it gives peppers personality. Peppers burn you a different way and have a certain quality burn. They have personalities. Um, and this, you know, primos and seven uh, and reapers go for your throat. So that's where the dominant uh, heat is. A non chili head, this would be just a nightmare. It would be really, really troublesome for you. If you're somebody who likes hot stuff, this is still, you know, very, very hot. An eight, easy. It's peaked and the, and the, the heat's on its way down. Um, but boy, I'll tell you what, that was a tasty pepper. Um, you'll find that some peppers, I get asked a lot, how do you know when a pepper is peaked? Really, just experience and you'll kind of feel it, you'll know. However, something that's, ha that's happened to me several times, it's happened with Reapers mostly, I think it's happened with one other pepper, but I can't recall what it was. I've eaten a few, you know. But you'll have a false peak, which is to me, you wanna talk about pepper with a sense of humor or you know, personality. You, so this pepper peaks and you're like Whew, and it's on its way down, you're like, okay, it's coming down. And then what it'll do is it'll rise again and I've had it before where it rose again and was way hotter this after the first peak. So that's kind of a cool thing. But this is peaked. It doesn't seem like it's coming back. Um, 
if it's on its way down. But what a lovely pepper. Now this is a great pepper. This would be a spectacular pepper for powders uh, and for sauce. Now, although I, in the past, I never really appreciated floral flavors. I've come to, uh, I've acquired a taste to it, as they say. Um, mm. But uh, although I don't, I didn't, in the past, I didn't like floral in fresh pods. Floral in powders is spectacular. I really love the floral taste in powders. I can't explain why. Also, if you have that floral taste, if that comes through in sauces, it's very appealing. But that was the Carolina Reaper Cross with a Butch T Scorpion. And thank you so much, Jason and Laura. And a tip of my hat to Neil Smith. What a great guy. I can't wait to go back and see the guy. He's just amazing. Hi, Neil and Charlotte. Hope you guys have a good day. All right, so we're going to wrap it up now. It's a spectacular pepper. If you ever get a chance to eat one, if nothing else, just because of the history of it and how it, you know, it's a great pepper to eat. In the description box, you're going to see a link. All right? You're going to see a link for Abercrombie Hot Peppers. Get some of these peppers, you guys. There's, if you, this is a list of the varieties they grow. 107 different varieties. And that sounds like a lot. There are over 5,000 uh, different kinds of peppers. So uh, if you want to eat some peppers and you're, you got the pepper bug, it's pod season, you want to dive into it, give these guys a ring. Just remember, kind of go easy. You can always eat more heat, but once you've eaten too much, you're strapped in that seat for the ride and you aren't getting off. So, um, get some peppers, chase the heat. You'll see them in the description box. Right there is the, our pepper. I say ours because I've shared it with you guys. If you click that pepper, it's ours. Make it ours. Um, if you, if, man, I'll tell you what, if spicy content is your thing, and it really is my thing, then click the bell for notification. That way you'll be notified when uh, view, uh, videos come out. However, they miss it a lot. They really do. So if you really don't want to miss it, just do what the really dedicated hard, hardcore Chase the Heat writers do and just visit us daily. Um, you're on YouTube every day anyway. You just are. So check us out. Right there is League of Fire. Some very, very exciting stuff about League of Fire. Keeping my cars a little close to my vest, but boy, I got some very, very cool news to be sharing with you guys soon. Right here, more videos. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.